Welcome to the channel, great news everyone. Hell at Loose Console Update 2, which is basically PC Update 12, is now live and ready to go. And it brings a whole load of interesting new maps, abilities, and quality of life bug fixes to the PlayStation and Xbox versions of Hell Let Loose. So let's have a look at the announcement to get the headlines and then we'll go through the patch notes to see what we've got. It reads, Update 2 Falling Dark is out now on Xbox Series X, S and PlayStation 5. Night maps including Remagen, Flare Guns, New Commander Abilities, Free Download and much more. Be ruthless in the darkness. Okay, so that all sounds great, but let's take a look at the patch notes and hopefully we'll find some more info and some nice bug fixes too. Okay, from the top it reads, Soldiers, it's time to return to the sticks for a new approach on some of your favourite maps. Navigating in the fog of war will require alternate approaches as you and your squad adapt to a new environment. Vigilance and awareness are key when operating in the shadows. We're so excited for console players to try Remagen alongside a host of night variants of some classic Hell Let Loose maps. The flare gun will aid you in spotting enemies and highlighting their positions. New commander abilities will leave you feeling imperilous and significant. It's nearly time to enter the dark abyss. Below you will find the patch notes for update 2, we'll be keeping a close eye on feedback so please don't hesitate to share your thoughts, we appreciate the time you take to impart your experience. As always, good luck out there in the field. Ok so there's absolutely loads of bug fixes here so we're going to just focus on the content for now. So in terms of new content, here's what we're getting. Maps. Added new Remagen map, Remagen Warfare, Remagen Warfare Night, Remagen Offensive Germany, Remagen Offensive US. Added Night Maps, Foy Warfare Night, Purple Heart Lane, Warfare Night, Erkan Forest Warfare Night, and Kursk Warfare Night. They've added additional Omaha map variants, Omaha Warfare, Omaha Offensive Germany. And finally, they've reworked HQs on Kursk to provide additional cover for each faction work. They've added a load of new audio effects, shortened incoming artillery whistle sound effects, adjusted bullet crack sound effects for the MG42, adjusted foy map ambience, balanced volume of grenade throw sound effects, added sound occlusion to explosion sound effects, balanced end of round music volume, adjusted flesh impact sound effects, adjusted wood impact, adjusted smoke grenade, adjusted volume attenuation of the Stuka siren, and additional minor tweaks and improvements. They've changed some visual effects as well, updated TPP blood hit effects, added lighting to the following in-game effects for better visuals on night maps, muzzle flashes, artillery cannons, tank cannons, Panzer Shrek, bazooka rockets, and they've adjusted artillery impact and vehicle explosion effects. Vehicles, they've added new US M4A375W medium tank, added machine guns to half tracks, M2 Browning MG42, re-implemented German Panther as a heavy tank with updated smart materials, updated Tiger with new camo pattern, the Panzer IV with new camo pattern, and the Lux with new camo pattern. Weapons, they've added the flare guns, the LP42, SPS H42, and the ANM8. Flare gun. Loadouts, they've added flare gun to spotter level 3, which is the scout loadout. Moved the ammo crate from spotter level 3 scout to spotter level 1 standard issue loadout. And they've also changed a load of gameplay features here. Added the following new commander abilities, precision strike. For Germany, they've added the Stuka dive bomb. For the US, they've added times 2 P-47 bombs. And for the Soviets, the IL-2 rocket strafe. They've added the ammo drop, improved animations for the strafing run commander ability. They've added gore models for the Soviet faction where they previously used US models. They pulled the wool over my eyes for that one. Primary weapons are now displayed on the player's back while not equipped. I think we already had that one. Added the ability to interrupt weapon reloads. Adjusted MG deployment logic to prevent players from hiding their model inside objects. Updated personal stats screen with new stats and an organized layout. I love a good stat me. Tank crews are now notified when the gunner destroys an OP. Vehicle wrecks can now be removed using the bazooka and panzer shrek. That will unblock some points, I guess. Increased AT gun timer from 3 to 8 seconds. Reduced AT gun damage from 600 to 350. That's quite a significant drop. And they've reduced the precision strike cost from 500 to 250 munitions. Now, there's an absolute ton of bug fixes here. So I'm just going to link the patch notes in the description. And you can go check those out. Okay, that's everything for now. Go jump in the fight and come back and tell me how it is in the comments. I personally can't jump on for a few days now, which is typical, but that's life. Okay, subscribe to stay up to date, like if you liked the video, and go watch a load of Hell at Least console gameplay videos on the channel. See you in the fight.